Are you looking to develop speaking and leadership skills, ace a job interview, ignite your career? Well, there's a group that's been around a while that maybe can help. Find out more next on Connecting Our Community. Hello everybody, I'm Karen Allen and welcome to Connecting Our Community. Scott Schlesinger, who is the president of the Kent Mill Toastmasters, is joining us today and he is going to teach us all about speech, speaking in public. What is the Toastmasters, Scott? And thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Toastmasters is an organization that is involved with helping people help themselves. It involves public speaking, but it's not just speaking. It's also helping you to hone your leadership techniques and your he leadership skills as well. So it is something that is a volunteer organization. It's a non-threatening environment because they say that speaking is probably one of the biggest fears that people have. It even surpasses the fear of dying. In fact, I believe that Seinfeld said that people would rather be in the casket than giving the eulogy. This, the fear is so great. But with Toastmasters, you get to overcome that fear through practice and through evaluation. And you have several different roles that you can fulfill in the organization that will also help you, like I say, hone your leadership skills. Okay, I think that Seinfeld was completely correct, 100%. Because you and I are sitting here talking with cameras watching us, and but we don't have viewers, we don't have a live audience. Uh, going in front of people is a whole different story, which I, I gather from this interview that you're easy to go with both. It's not so easy. Everybody is nervous. I believe that if you don't get up and if you're not nervous speaking in front of the Kennedy debate, when, they, when uh, John right. Kennedy I debated Richard going. Nixon, exactly. a lot of people said that on TV, John right. Kennedy was, was great. R Richard but Nixon had the... The, the makeup the, fiasco. Right. And but he on the just radio... Didn't, but on radio, they said it was won. the opposite. I know. So I know. communication takes all of those into, uh, into account, and that's what Toastmasters does. It allows you to take all of those different factors into account so that you can develop the confidence and you can be a John Kennedy. You can be a Ronald Reagan. Right, the most effective communicator is what they called him with the, the smooth communicator. So you're able to express those ideas and, and get people to, to understand what you're, what you're all about. Are the, I mentioned the only Toastmasters and there being like two branches there and you have Kent Mill, and you always hear about a local Toastmasters. Are they all connected in any way, or are they individual? Toastmasters is an organization that's worldwide. My understanding is that there's something like about 300,000 people who belong to Toastmasters, wow. and I think there's about, if I'm not mistaken, about 15,000 clubs around the world. I think they just had their last convention in, in uh, I think it was in Bombay. So it was an a international convention, and it was well attended, and they had a speech conference contest and people from all over the world attended. I think the next one is going to be in Las Vegas. Um, I know that it's a very popular, for those that go, they rave about it. There's always people talking about, you know, and trying to get others to go. And there's always me that's going, I can't handle this, you know, which is, I know it sounds insane. But the, but it's truly, um, they always feel invigorated by going. Just like you said, people do improve and they feel invigorated. If they can get over that, I'm talking in front of my peers feeling and become confident. One of the big things is it's non-threatening. You're not being evaluated so by a teacher. No one's giving you a grade. Your job doesn't depend upon it. If you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Everybody is there. Everybody is rooting for you. Everybody is hoping that you succeed. And you know, after a while, and you see some of the same people getting on up and they're talking about their experiences and so on, they become friends. These are people you may, may not have known before you attended a meeting. And all of a sudden, you've got this, this chemistry. Nice yeah, def that's the first project in a Toastmaster is right? book is, so what you get when you join Toastmasters is you get a manual. And this manual gives you 10 projects that you should pro progress throughout your time in Toastmasters initially. And the first one is, uh, the first project is an icebreaker. And all you have to do is for four to six minutes talk about yourself. You put together a nice little speech, you have your notes, and you just tell people who you are, what motivates you, and, and your fears or your beliefs or your aspirations, and you talk for four to six minutes. That's an egomaniac's dream. Everyone loves to talk about themselves. And it's something that you know intimately. 
So then your next speech is going to be how to organize a speech. That's your next project. And the next one might be concentrating on eye contact. And the next one might be using gestures. Another one would talk about vocal variety. Another one talk about injecting humor into your speech. And so you're going to be taking each of these 10 projects and you will be focusing on a, a specific aspect of speaking and you become more effective and more polished.